Oh, thank God you're here. The most awful thing happened to me this morning. I woke up and I forgot I had bid on a unit and it's an hour and a half away. I thought like two days ago when I bid on it that it's gonna be full of goodies. First off, let's, let me show you this unit. Look right up there. I'm gonna talk you through it real quick. It looks like a bunch of crap. The reason I bought it is because it had a few uh, tape players in it that I like. Um, some I and I think there's gonna be some old tools in there. It looks like an old old man's garage, and uh, I think it's gonna be a lot lots of hidden gems. Let's go see what is in this thing. All right, girls. Your dad bought a unit an hour and a half away, and I cannot take you. Too long in the car. I don't have any room in the car. We're just gonna have to stay here today, okay? I'm so sorry I can't take you with me. Sorry, Thien. Can you forgive me? Yeah, that's forgiving, all right. Now, you heard me a minute ago, right? I told you you cannot go. I wasn't kidding. Come on, Thien. I'm sorry, girls. All right, guys, so we see, got a 20 dollars unit. We're off a major interstate right here, so it's louder than heck. So bear with me, and let's see what's in here. Listen, oh, dude, I don't want to you can do this, door. I know it. But you have to be very careful. This is a good sign. We, we only get one yeah. shot at this. Uh. No. The first thing I saw was a typewriter. All right, got my, I'm getting my gloves on because it's pretty gross. Um, and apparently the only, only thing I had was uh, my welding gloves. So this thing is super heavy too. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Stuck on something. All right. Come on, cord. Typewriter. It's a select selectrix sometimes these are worth some money but it really depends if they're working or not which is probably not working really want to do what i did last time is uh see if i can find some information on the owner and see if they want any of the stuff back and if not i'm my goal is to keep 20 items or less and donate the rest of it so that's my goal for the day i just had a yard sale this weekend and i hated it so i don't want to do any more yard sales i just want to keep enough stuff to sell on ebay I don't, even like, I don't even like selling this stuff, guys. I just like going through the units. Toaster oven, okay. Goodwill, some toaster ovens. See? It's a nice toaster oven, it's pretty disgusting. All right, so, give me like half hour. I'm gonna go through the rest of this and I'll show you the good stuff. Two hours later. And this is really what I bought the unit for, is these uh, high-end uh, musical, oh, I can't talk, recorders right here. Awkward, weird. Let me say awkward. It's really just unique. This is uh, like a CD burner. I don't really know. Uh, looks like you copy CDs in here. It's a little CD drive. Really weird. So, and I also found the guy. Um, I found his his business cards in here. Um, I marked out his name and everything. But he's a uh, producer and or organist, organist. Uh, organ player, whatever, and he's also a truck driver. So, see the truck driving steps like a big uh, is from a Peterbilt. I used to be a truck driver back in the day for about four years. These things are pretty expensive. Uh, this is the uh, driver's side, I'm pretty sure, and that's a uh, cargo box right there for a Peterbilt. Or I'm pretty sure these are universal actually. So, um, those are pretty neat. Look at all these, these are all of his driver's logs right here. Hey, calling them but I got no answer. I tried to look them up on the internet, didn't find them. Um, I, there's a bunch of different numbers and crap through here that I've tried. There's Everything's disconnected. I can't find them on Facebook, can't find the internet anywhere, so I was gonna give it back, give it back to the guy, but also his, uh, his business card said he was from Florida. I really wanted to wait till, you, till I started filming this to reveal this to you guys. I don't know what the hell this is. Put this on a tripod and show you guys. So let's reveal this protected furniture of some kind. A lot of the stuff is covered in oil, which is nasty. Some of it's uh, protected, but rusty than hell. Oh, all right, here we go. So let's flip this back. Let's see what this protected piece of furniture is, guys. 
he fixed you a little bit. All right, so what we have here, it looks like a piano. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking, it's an organ. This is, a, this is an organ. <laughs> All right, look at this. So there's a, it's a huge organ. I don't know how much these are worth, but it's pretty well protected. And I need to get the rest of the stuff off here so I can see the branding and everything. All right, so I got some stuff off here. This looks like a Hammond Rhythm 2. I don't think that's part of it, but um, I just looked it up online. There's a little bit different uh, listings. It's either from like, I don't know, $500 to $2,000 for an organ like this. That's pretty incredible. Uh, I don't know if I wear my store a freaking organ. So I'll see if I can sell it really fast, get rid of it. Um, see if I can find an organ organ buyer. So I'm pretty much sitting here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this freaking organ. I called like four places, nobody buys organs here. Uh, I'm gonna just donate it to Goodwill. First person to come get it gets it. If not, going to Goodwill, I don't wanna deal with it. It's a freaking organ, I don't have time to deal with that crap. I'm actually gonna load up, a uh, load, Go to Goodwill. I gotta rest for a second. It's like 100 degrees out here. It's actually 98 degrees and I'm dying. So my brother's coming with a truck and that should help a lot. All right, on our way to the first Goodwill drop. Got tons of books, movies, stuff. Well, it's starting to rain and I got all this stuff out here, so. And I haven't found somebody to take the, take the organ yet, so I might just give it to my brother and have him sell it. But really, this is all just Stuff I don't want. All right, so we have this beautiful Hammond organ. I just spent the last good, so I, I spent about two hours calling, emailing, texting, posting on social media, any other Craigslist website, trying to get rid of this thing for free. Nobody wants it. Goodwill, Salvation Army, any other thrift store will not take it. They have a strict policy against taking pianos and organs. So, take a good look at it. We have an idea. We have, we have an idea how to get rid of it, so. Uh, I'm done, I'm done messing this thing. I'm not bringing it to my house. It's heavier than hell. It's probably about 500 pounds and we don't want to mess with it. We got the organ loaded up. That was an organ donor. <laughs> that was my joke. I said they that. I said it. It's your Mr. Flowers joke of the day. It's an organ donor. <laughs> he tell he tell every day for six months. Hey guys, thanks for sticking to the very end of this video. We're gonna go over recap of all what I got that's worthwhile selling on my eBay store. He saw the organ got destroyed. But don't worry, I did keep some parts to that organ. The sad thing about that organ is that nobody actually wanted it, so we got rid of it. I tried to give it to a lot of churches, and nobody wanted a used organ like that. We destroyed it. I reached down and grabbed some items out of there that actually were worth a lot of money. Uh, when I say items, I grabbed a lot of parts off the machine. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. This is a tube transistor right here. This came out of the uh, organ. I actually grabbed three of these, as you can see. These are incredible. Um, as far as a resale value goes, particular model, which is GZ345AR4, uh, can go anywhere from $100 to $500, depending on the condition. These are actually good tube transistors. You can usually see if they're burnt out right here. I don't know if you can see that. All right, first up is this awesome little thing called a media form. It's a CD3701. Yeah, 3701. This thing, after doing some research on it, is actually duplicate CDs uh, automatically. It'll take a CD from here and here and duplicate it and actually copyright, copyright the CD for you. I did find one that was a couple models off. It was about $200, so I'm gonna go buy that. All right, next up, we have a Tascam uh, Porta Studio. I'm pretty sure this is used for recording music and other awesome stuff it's back there. Um, this thing sells for about $400 to $350. One of the main reasons I bought the Unix, I, I spotted this old Marantz Woody side. 
I kind of like call them woody sides. It's an old amplifier. These are really cool. I think it's a solid state. It might be not be a solid state. Take a look at it right here. It's a great, great collector piece right here. We have the uh, Tascam 302 MK2, which is a dual cassette. It has actually a cassette in there. Neat machine, old school recording um, of your own music. Has some ports back there. This is uh, about a $200 unit. We have the IBM Slytrix 2. It's an old school typewriter. Actually, kind of a new school typewriter. Uh, I have no idea if it works. I need to clean it up. Um, if it works, it's worth about $100. If it doesn't, it's worth about $20. Bucks. So we have this uh, Crate Pro Audio amplifier of some kind. Where I'm thinking, if you know, tell me down in the comments below. I actually don't think this is worth a lot of money. It's probably old technology. Uh, I found one for $200, but I don't think it's the exact same model. All right, now we have this uh, sweet CD burner uh, duplicator. Uh, it's called an A-Card Technology Pro. It's about $200 on eBay. There's a few of these. These are pretty uh, pretty neat little machines. You know, right here, you find them on eBay because I have no use for it. Here we have uh, some sales uh, off a sailboat. Very good condition. And I've only found one listing on eBay. These are like a certain, like, I don't want to say custom sale maker. It's called a buy rig sale. And it's, well, the one on eBay says $250. And it looks like exactly the same as this one. Like the secondary sale on a sailboat. So it's a matching set. I'm guessing like $300 I'll sell it for. Rants, uh, SD160. Look in here. It looks like the, it's intact and pretty de decent shape. So it'll probably work. It just needs cleaned up a lot. This is probably worth $100 or so. Hey, I saved an organ today by putting out misery. But it didn't sound too good. A lot of stuff I didn't keep, which was the truck steps, the truck parts. Saved the organ seat itself, which goes from $100 to $300 on eBay. So tell me what you thought about this unit down below. Like, subscribe if you want to. Check out my other videos. Check out the links down below. I'll check you out in the next video. I'm working on something awesome, and uh, I'll see you next time.